Hi, I'm Saurav and I'm a faculty member of the Life Sciences Department at Atria University. I have a PhD in Biology from the National Center for Biological Sciences, uh, which is a branch of the Tata Institute for Fundamental Research. And I'm also a researcher of biology and I have co-founded a biotechnology startup. You know, I've been teaching for a long time, uh, since I was in school actually. And just before coming to Atria, when I was teaching, what I realized is that the most excited I have seen students is when they're working on projects, right? And these are not students who are the most brilliant students in the class, uh, your average student, but they're very, very excited when they get to work on their own idea. But sadly, this is a very small part of a conventional education system. And then some friends introduced me to Atria and here was a university where the founders were saying that you know, education has to be about real world and uh, you have to do projects and that's how the students should be learning. And I was like, aha, that's what I would really love to do. And I think that's when the students are going to be at their best. So, uh, you know, students work on projects and projects are not just, uh, you know, examples which we uh, give to the students in order to relate uh, their theory to real life. But projects is something that we want students to actually do. Right? It could be an investigation, it could be research, it could be solving a problem, it could be building something, it could be designing something. So you have to do, right? You're not just passively learning. So that's, I think, is at the crux of the pedagogy at Atria University. What I really believe is that, you know, after education, what's the goal? Right? We want students to become uh, members of society, right? We want all of us to contribute uh, something of value to the society. And that's what jobs are really about. Or even if you want to do something of your own, you are creating value for the society. So then why not uh, bring that same thing into education? Why not make education also about creating value? solving problems, uh, building things, designing things. So that's really one part of uh, my teaching philosophy. The other thing is that I really believe that students can learn on their own and students should take the ownership of what they're doing. Right? Teachers are there only to facilitate, only to mentor uh, them through this process. But the ownership has to lie with the students. I think of this in three steps. Uh, the first is we need to expose students to the real world, the beauty of the real world, the complexity of the real world, and also the challenges of the real world. And it could be something small or it could be something big. Right? It could be as something as small as the molecules in your body, or it could be as big as the entire ecosystems in our Western guards. Right? There's a beauty, there's a complexity. So we need to bring the, that to uh, the classroom. And then also the challenges, right? Again, it could be small challenges, like what's the challenge of a shopkeeper in the canteen in your college? Or what's the challenge in the community of the college? Or what's the challenge that the whole world is facing? We need to expose students to these challenges. So that's one. How do we bring these to the classroom? We bring these to the classroom through projects where students have to think about this uh, and uh, try and come up with solutions to them and then actually build those solutions. So that's what uh, we really want to do uh, to motivate the students. Then what do we want the students to actually do? We want the students to investigate, right? We want them to understand the world because unless you understand the world, you are not going to be able to change it, right? So we want the students to understand the world through investigations, through discovering things and through learning what other people have already found out. However, as I said, we want students to take ownership of the process. I shouldn't be the one who is uh, giving students all this knowledge or teaching them step by step by step how to think. Uh, I have to give the ownership to them and then just mentor them so that they can navigate uh, the complexity of this process. Uh, so that's really what we want to do. And then finally, the assessments, I think, uh, have to be aligned to this whole process. You can't be working on real life projects in the classroom and then say, I will have a road memory based examination. Right? Or you can't be teaching road theory based things in the classroom and then say, uh, okay, in the exam, I want students to solve realistic problems or go out into the world and solve complex problems. So you need to align all these three things, the motivation, the methodology and the assessment. 